Hey guys, Eastern Block back with a new gun, ammo test on a new, brand new, brand new Bush Buck Carbide. I seen this gun down at AOA and uh, I won a few bucks in a gift certificate with the Matador and the Sportsman Speed Silhouette. And I decided to spend the money on this. <laughs> I shot it as a second time. I'm going to be shooting it. I shot it one time and I can already tell. This is something special. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet, but I'm out here to try ammo to see if I'm going to be shooting this on high power or low power. Um, it's going to be an ammo test. I have four different slugs. I was going to get five or six different slugs, but only four came today in the mail. Um, first one is the Hot Sun. They're called, I think, Vortex Hot Sun Cheap uh, 180 Grainers small let me shoot those a low power and then uh aoa has high arc hunter with a huge giant giant hollow point now these are 230 grain and aoa told me that these are what they recommend to shoot and then i have high arc hunter massive 235 65 grainers this is for the actual full carbine version of the bush buck and uh i'm probably gonna be shooting these in high power because i'm just looking at the breech and i doubt they're even gonna fit unless i have the hammer pulled all the way back so these are gonna be in high power since they're so heavy i'm gonna be filling probably up to 250 i don't like 4,000 fills i like probably 3600 with one shot and then lastly african air ordnance 255 grain slugs i'm gonna try out hopefully some of these will work and i'll probably take the top two and go out to 50 or 100 if the range down there opens up right now i'm at the pistol range i'm only calling these pellets at 25 just to see what works and what doesn't hope you enjoy the video Let's get going. All right, uh, here's Hotson Vortex. I'll show a photo. Um, this is, I mean, I was shooting it a little bit last week. Got one in already. They seem to be doing decent. I hope the camera ends up working. Three. Right, next we got High Arc Hunter, 230 grainers. Now these are the ones that AOA sells for the carbine. They're going to be probably in the 700s in speed that you see here. I'm just going to hold on. The group might fall a little bit. Well, I'm going to hold on to that point. Wow. That was a lot more kick. 765. I'm not sure what the foot pounds is. Every one of these shots, I'm filling up to 3,000 PSI and shooting so I can actually know the accuracy. That was a lot of kick. A lot more kick than I expected. Oh, same hole. I'm gonna do one more because there's only two holes. Okay, this is an anchor gun. Alright, next one is African Air Ordnance 255 grain. I'm going to be firing these on low power at 3,000 PSI fill also. 
Ja. Seven thirty eight. Six hundred ninety six. All right, uh. Okay, next is the last one. This is the biggest one that I have. It's actually for the original bush buck, the long version. I hear they're really good. High arc under 365 grainers. I'm gonna be, these are the only ones that I have to fire on high power. So, um, cause they don't even fit in the breech. They're too long to even fit. So I filled this one up to 250 bar. I'm gonna take three shots and get you the foot pounds of energy. Seven oh three. All right, last shot. Three hundred sixty five grainers. Gosh, the gun kicks. Seven nineteen with three hundred sixty five grain. No idea what that is. All right, quick video there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the fifty yard. It's packed. There's people shooting, and right now there's a break on the range, so I can finish this video. All right. So first, I shot the hots on. I never really thought I was gonna be much hope for these because uh, they don't. First of all, they don't look nice. Show your photo. I kind of like kitted. Um, I really thought they weren't going to shoot well, but they do. They shoot very well, and probably the winner in this group. But I'll go through the rest of them. And then uh, the second one I shot was a high arc hunter, which was recommended me to from AOA, and they still shot good. They were touching. I thought they were going to drop quite a bit, but they actually didn't. They didn't drop at all. I, at 25 yards, there's not much drop in any of these even the heavy ones. So this is definitely a good one. I have a, bought a lot of these because that were they were recommended. So I'm probably gonna probably down to these two are very, very close. I have to do more testing. And then I got to the heavier ones, the 255 grain air ordinances. For 25 yards, I was not impressed. So I think I'll pass on these. These are already eliminated. And then the High Arc Hunter, which I had at full power with a 250 bar fill. My tank wasn't quite up to 4,000. So just to round it up, I went to 250 and shot this group. And I wouldn't say it was great. The gun was, I was actually really afraid against scoped. I got scoped on the first one, I think it was a little bit. And from the rest of the shots, I was kind of shaky. But anyway, this was a lot of power. It was, I think it was in the 700s, low 7s, with 365 grain. I don't know the foot pounds, but I'll put it on the screen. That's a lot of power. And uh, I think if my state, Minnesota, lets me hunt with an air gun, I'll probably be using these for deer just to make sure I have that crazy heavy power, which that's what a book buck, bush buck for. But until then... If I'm going to be shooting this gun for fun or coyote or I take it down to Texas to hog headshots, I'm just going to be shooting either these Hotson 180s or I have a lot of these high arc hunters. I need to do more testing. Um, I, can't, I don't think I can get down to this 50 yard range today. There's just too many people getting ready for deer hunting. It opens next week. <laughs>
now they're shooting again. So I hope this video helps. I want to reiterate this channel that I have. I do not want this as entertainment. I just want this to pass on information to other air gunners. It's an informational channel. I'm not here to entertain. I'm just here to share my experience with guns and ammo and scopes. So you people who watch my channel can actually save a few dollars here and there and save time. All right, Eastern Block is back. I did not want to leave that video at where it was. I wanted to push this out to at least 50, just get a feel of where it's at. I tested three different rounds this time. If you remember the High Arc Hunter, just a few minutes ago, you watched it. The High Arc Hunter with this massive hollow point did pretty good at 25. The Hot Son 180s light um, round noses did well. And then I finally got my NSA. 196 grain, 454 caliber. And so I'm gonna test these at 50 and see what happens. Uh, just so you guys, there's an update. I purchased a Ronin moderator for this gun and quieted down. It's still loud, but just enough so I don't have to put earplugs in. And then I actually put the most tactical scope I have is the ACOG. <laughs> I put an ACOG on it just because I always wanted a gun with a laser and a flashlight and it seems to work perfectly. I can hold the gun like this, hit the laser or the flashlight and uh, able to shoot things, just point and shoot. So I hope you enjoy the video. I just did it. So first we'll do the high arc hunters and the Nielsen's and then last we'll do the 180 around those Vortex or hot sun, whatever they are. Let's go over that. NSA, 50 yards. There you go, three shot group. This is all tethered. Um, my tanks are right around 3,000 PSI, so all these shots are, should be at the same velocity. Boom. Now this is the High Arc Hunter, a little bit better than NSA. I shot an extra shot, not thinking, but that was the fourth shot. This is the three. And then lastly, but not least, these things are flying great. They're a lot less power don't have a hollow point but they fly well these hot sons look to be the winner so i'll end this video off with the hot sons smacking steel at 100. all right you just saw the 100 yards two shots on top of each other one shot up to the left three shots all on steel once i zeroed it i had two shots before that just to figure out exactly where they landed but Initial results, absolutely good. Last week, I wasn't so sure, but after today, this is going to be my big bore 45. I had a wise man once tell me, there are only two real big bores out there, two real ones. That's the Texan and the Bush Buck. <laughs> I completely know what that wise old air gunner is talking about now. This, I already know, is going to be my 45 a big game gun. I just love everything about it. I love the stock. I love that my face is separate from all the action. Like having this buffer, this stock, and then this cheek piece that's elevated, it just feels so much more pleasant to shoot than all the other big boards I had. A lot of them were big ball pups or it just wasn't pleasant. They're, with this moderator now, I can shoot without earplugs. With this light, this light scope, it has a lot of light gathering capabilities. This ACOG, it's always been great with light. I got a laser that I can point at. I can know my scope and everything's together. If both the laser and then the scope landed in the right spot. I just love the setup now and uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of, gun, a lot of this gun in the future. 
I still haven't done any of my tricks, any of my barrel polishing, any of my uh, anything else to get this line accurate. This gun has the potential of being M three shot MO easily at 100 yards once I figure everything out. So very positive Bushbuck carbine. This is a keeper. Thanks for watching.